But uh, Ryan, what do you have for us? Oh, it's a, it's a busy weekend for me as well. Um, we've got the uh, the anime bonsai which is going on, which is all the anime fans getting together and and uh, dressing up, and that's at the Sheridan uh, Friday. What is it? Thing. Explain that a little bit more, because uh, I don't know. Okay, yeah, if you were here last week, you would know. Oh, <laughs> see, I, that's why but, I was um, like, oh. Bas basically, don't you have... tease the host, right? <laughs> right, be nice. I can make you look bad on TV. Yeah, thank you. Um, and, Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> I'm outnumbered. Anyway, um, uh, the anime bonsai is, is you have people who are really into the Japanese animation films. And uh, they, they get together and kind of celebrate it. They have panels, games. Japanese sort of animated thing. films can be pretty crazy, too. Some they of them can be very are. interesting and very out there. And uh, you throw into the, uh, the idea that half of these people are going to be dressed up as their favorite anime characters as well. Uh, uh, that, that I'm really sure you be see a lot of enthusiastic people about it. You do. And uh, if, if you're going to show up on Saturday, you might be able to see me in costume. I've decided if I'm going to go, I'm going to go full on do and do it. Do you know what you're going to be? Is it a secret? I do or? it's a secret. Oh, come on. No, no, not revealing. Okay, we won't. We won't seen the, uh, there's a couple shows this weekend we're checking out. A band called the, the Black Angels is playing the Urban Lounge. Uh, they're kind of a noisy, garagey sort of band sort of thing. And then uh, Saturday is a Sobe Sexu, which is a band from New York uh, that I absolutely love. It's kind of a shoegazer, ambient pop. That'd be uh, good. Stuff. I, and it should be a phenomenal show. Um, and they've actually played up in Park City a few times at Sundance Festival. So. Good to know. And there's also movies, as always. Have you seen Saw? I have not seen Saw. They, oh, they I'm did so not, glad you didn't may have to sit through that. They didn't screen oh. it for us. Uh, a lot of the horror films and that sort of thing, they just say, eh, critics are going to pan it, so let's not show it to them. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. It sounds well, like you've seen it. Oh, I haven't seen this new Saw, oh, but I've no, seen no. previous ones. Yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely the most horrific, awful films I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. And... Oh, I don't do well with torture, like watching it at all. <laughs> well, that's what they, I mean. They call it torture porn. It is horrible because, because they just take it to that next it extreme. Is I have trouble sitting through those too. It's like that's not entertaining to don't me. Take it your just kids. makes me cringe <laughs> at yeah. all. Okay, so talk to me about good movies. I saw uh, um, Body of Lies last night, but I accidentally fell asleep during it. <laughs> it was a 10 o'clock movie and I was so I think tired. accidentally falling asleep is better than purposely falling asleep in a movie. It was probably kind of purposeful. I turned to the guy next to me and said, wake me up if it gets exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Which it was. It was good. I was just, it was a good film. Yeah. But it wasn't great. It, it didn't really... It was slow in the beginning. Yeah, it just didn't... It didn't have the punch that a lot of Ridley Scott films do. Um, and I, I think the same goes for Pride and Glory that just opened. Really? You didn't... I, it's, I think it, it looks so good, though. Colin Farrell? The, the, the performances are good. Um, it is kind of a... I mean, it's a bad cop, good cop film. Which, you know, the, the corrupt cop and, it, and the whole family's involved and, and sort of thing. And it's, it's not really a news story. It does have a couple twists in there that, that are a little different than other ones, but it just, it, it just wasn't really? phenomenal. But the studio's been delaying the release of this film for ages, and so that kind of implied that it was going to be horrible, and it's definitely not horrible. Mm -hmm. If you're a fan of the genre, I think you'll enjoy it. Okay. But if you're wishy-washy on it... It's Colin Farrell, and who's the other one? Uh, Edward Norton. There you go. Yeah. And they, both, right. and they both do really good. I mean, the okay. performances are good, uh, but just sometimes a, f a film can only... Be, so be, so, be as good as you know it's mm -hmm. script and, and, and yeah whatnot. Um, exactly um, so th they do elevate it above a bad film it's it's a good film <laughs> that's good to know yeah I'm gonna see it um, we had uh, boy, is a, a, boy a boy a shocked me um, yeah in that it's it's a it's a it's a British film about a boy as a child who did a horrific thing and it's now you know seven years later ten years later and He's been released from prison, and he has to kind of deal with with his own past while kind of covering up who he was because the crime he committed was a heroinous crime, and that's what it anyway. Is but it realistic? I mean, in the it sense is, of how it's done? It is. A, yes, it's a beautiful film. Is it? It's a beautiful film. It's heart heartbreaking, and uh, I don't. It's probably not a, a, a great movie if you're kind of feeling morbid already, but. <laughs> So don't see Saw and Boy right back to back. No, no, no <laughs> maybe a little depressing. No, yeah, probably not. But I, I liked it a lot. Uh, the, the performances in it are, are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, there's some kid, a child actors in it who just do a great job. I mean, everything about the film was done extremely okay. well. Um, it's a good indie film, basically. What uh, about um, W? W is a lot more sympathetic than you would think. Really? Yeah. Uh, w is uh, is kind of uh, it's probably the kindest Oliver Stone film you will ever see. Interesting. Um, rather than just ripping him apart, he uh, 
he kind of just laid the situation out, and you kind of feel sad for for uh, the president at the end. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I think a lot of people go in wanting it to be a complete let's rip on Bush the entire time. And mm -hmm. it, it, when it's not that, they just kind of don't know how to feel about it. But um, you know, it doesn't paint him in you know, great coloring and it doesn't make him look like the, the smartest man in but the world. But it doesn't do the opposite and make him No, look. no, it, it actually makes him, you know, he's the sort of guy who basically probably shouldn't have been president. Uh, he's a, a nice guy, but... Do you think it would be meaner if he wasn't in office right now? <sighs> you know, I don't know. I, I, because everyone thought that, that they were rushing the film to get out for the election because it was going to be so you know, anti-Republican uh, and party and whatnot. And uh, I think it's just, it's, it might have started out as that, but I think in the end it didn't end up being that. I think Oliver Stone's come on various talk shows and talked about how he actually kind of likes, you know, President George Bush now. Which is kind of a nice side to things, as everybody, you know, rips on it. It's kind of nice to get a view of, He's a decent person, just things didn't go his way, well, maybe he shouldn't have been yeah, this, Yeah, you know? it's the sort of thing where it's like he's mm -hmm. the guy that you would meet at the bar and have a couple drinks with, but that guy really shouldn't be president. Yeah. You know, president president should be the, the person that you have, like, you feel like you're half as smart yeah. as, or, you know, that, that is this overachiever sort of mm -hmm. fantastic person, not the guy next door. Exactly. Um, and so I think, I think in a way that, that that message from the film is is really important. When, when we vote, we mm -hmm. don't need to to go for the guy that we want to hang out with. We need to go with the person that we might not be comfortable hanging out with, because right. how would we keep up the conversation with them, yeah. um, sort of thing. Uh, you know, so, I mean, I, I want my presidents to be highly intelligent and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, well, well versed and successful. Mm -hmm. George Bush was not many of those, if any. Well, movies, 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 and more movies. We can always talk about movies. <laughs> We've always got some good ones, and tons of Halloween stuff going on. So you guys, obviously, in In Magazine, have great review on everything that's going on. Like you said, Thriller, the, uh, what, the Haunted Village. Right, and a Haunted House listing again this week, so more suggestions for things to check out. So lots to do. And they can pick up a copy in and around town. Every place cool. Check it out uh, in thisweek.com for right. a listing. Perfect. Well, thanks you guys for being here. It's not Friday without you. So Great to see you back. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> and make sure you guys have a good weekend. It is Halloween. I say start celebrating Halloween early if I think you do it. So have a good weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.